Time for another heavy Lightroom edit. We are going to turn this drone image into this vibrant golden hour shot. To follow along, make sure to grab the raw file from the link in the description and now let's jump right into it. So here we have our drone image. We do have natural color tones, which I want to change. So as I just said, this will be some very heavy editing. That won't be for everyone, but let's start this by changing the profile, going from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, just to lessen the contrast a bit, brightening up those darkest spots. Then I do want to work on the white balance. I do want to give this image some kind of golden hour feeling, so I'm going to bring up the temperature a lot. Looking much better already. Now let's work on the exposure. You can clearly see right there in the center where the sun is. There is some heavy overexposure, but I do want to include this in the image for this very nice glow effect. So I don't really try to fix the overexposure, but I'm just going to use it. Still, I do want to bring down the exposure, making the rest of the landscape a little darker. Also kind of reducing that glow radius around the sun just a bit. And at the same time, I'm going to bring down the shadows making the surrounding landscape even darker. And at the same time, I'm going to bring up the blacks, which will help to create a very soft effect. And in turn, this just makes the whole image a lot more dreamy by applying almost like an autumn glow effect on it. That's looking pretty good so far. Let's add a little bit of texture and a bit of clarity just to get in some details in the shot. And I'm also going to bring up the vibrance since we want this image to be very well saturated. Just like that. Nice. So that's it for the base adjustments. We can compare it to before real quick. You can see the colors are much different now with the changed white balance. Also, the whole shot appears to be a lot darker, except of course for that overexposed area in the distance. So next up, I want to apply some masks. So let's go ahead, open up the masking stuff right there. And the first thing I want to do is I want to bring some more attention to the highlights in those grassy spots down there. This is kind of tricky to do with Lightroom, but I'm going to try using a color range mask. And you see those bright spots right there. I'm going, I'm going to click on them. Of course, at first, this will select pretty much the whole landscape. But to make the selection more precise, we can simply use the refine slider, bring it down just like that until we just have this exact color tone selected, which refers to the highlights of the foreground. So what I want to do with this selection, I just want to bring up the exposure, making those highlights a little bit brighter. You can think of it like dodging in Photoshop. Perfect. Now I think I want to do this a second time. Uh, let me create another color range mask. And again, pick a color from right there. Again, I'm going to use the refine slider to get a more precise selection. Maybe I'm going to keep the selection a little wider like this. And again, I just want to bring up the exposure and maybe even the saturation, I'm getting some color in here. Perfect. I really like where this is going. Now let's use a linear gradient just over the near foreground like that and introduce a bit of clarity. Just making that landscape a bit more interesting. And then let's go ahead and create a radial gradient. Now this one will be very, very heavy, but I do want to add some glow effect. I'm going to create a thin, but very wide radial gradient like this. And I'm making sure it's overlapping the mountains on both sides. I especially want to make sure this radial gradient is filling this valley just right there. And in here, let's bring up the blacks. And I'm also going to drop the dehaze. This will further increase the overexposed area. But I think this looks just so much better. Let's bring it down even further. All right, that looks great. And to introduce some colors to this glow effect, I'm going to bring up the temperature very, very slightly. Awesome. And I guess we're done with the masking. So let me turn off the masks to see the difference. Again, major improvement to before, especially with the brighter highlights in the foreground. You can see that's a huge improvement. 
since we just made the landscape a little more interesting in that area. Now there is a bit of color grading left. So let's start this by going into the HSL panel. I think I want to play around with the yellow hue a bit, bringing it down slightly. And this will mainly affect the foreground, making it slightly warmer. Now let's go over into the saturation tab. I do want to bring up the orange saturation a bit. I think we could also drop the blue tones just a little bit. And I think that should be enough. For the luminance, I also want to push the yellow luminance, which just makes the whole image a little brighter. Again, this will have an effect on the overexposed area. Just keep that in mind. But you can also see when I'm dragging up and down the slider how this will nicely affect the foreground. All right, looking good so far. Let's also apply a bit of split toning in the color grading panel. I'm starting with the highlights and of course we want to have warm highlights. So let's begin by setting up the hue, going somewhere in the yellow range and bringing up the saturation. Going to raise it quite a bit. I think that's looking pretty decent this way. Next up the midtones. Again, I want to go with a warm color tone. So let's set up the hue and introduce some more saturation. Wonderful. Now at this point, I'm not sure if I want to do this, but let's go ahead in the shadows, set up the hue, applying a cold color tone and just introduce a little bit of saturation. You can see this effect, especially on the foreground, which is where we were very dark at the moment. Not quite sure if I like this effect, but I think I'm just going to go with it for now. Keep in mind to just use a low amount of saturation, however. So we're almost done. I just want to go all the way down into the calibration tab and just play around with the blue primary hue and saturation. First, let's bring up this one, making the shot a bit more vibrant. And then I'm going to increase the hue, which will give us some green tones back in the foreground. I think this looks actually quite nice this way. All right. Now, the only thing that's left is the sharpening in the details tab. So yeah, as always, bring down the radius, increase the details, add a bit of masking, and then just bring up the amount of sharpening. All right, and I think we are pretty much done with the editing process in Lightroom. Let's compare to before. It's pretty much a completely different image with quite some heavy post-processing on it, but that was the goal all along. At this point, I was thinking about using the Nick Collection plugin to enhance the glow effect a little more, but I think I'm just going to end the editing process here because I think this would be easily overdone by adding some more glow. In that case, I hope this editing tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments as always, and thank you very much for watching this video.